May 28, 1977, at only 50 years of age, Joseph Ratzinger was ordained Archbishop of Munich and Freising. One month later, Pope Paul VI made him a cardinal. This was how a new stage in his ministry started that would last the rest of his life. In 1978, Paul VI died, and the young Cardinal Ratzinger traveled to Rome to participate in the conclave that would proclaim John Paul I as the Supreme Pontiff. 33 days after his election, the Pope died, and the Cardinal electors returned to Rome. This time, the Assembly of Cardinals surprised the world with a non-Italian Pope, Cardinal Karol Wojtyła, Archbishop of Krakow. On October the 16th, 1978, the Church and the entire world welcomed a Polish Pope, John Paul II. But the esteem and respect between the Archbishop of Krakow and the Archbishop of Munich and Freising had begun to grow much earlier. Since the Second Vatican Council, both had heard of the other, and they met thanks to their respective writings and publications. Between them, there was already a reciprocal admiration both at the intellectual and the theological levels. And it's precisely thanks to this esteem that Pope John Paul II wished to have him at his side in Rome. After different unsuccessful proposals from Rome, in 1981, the Polish Pope appointed Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, Prefect of the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith and President of the Pontifical Biblical Commission and the International Theological Commission. At that point, the Bavarian Cardinal officially renounced his leadership of the Archdiocese of Munich and Freising and moved definitively to Rome. From this moment, a deep friendship started between them. For the next 24 years, as Prefect of the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith, Cardinal Ratzinger worked tirelessly on the elaboration and distribution of doctrinal documents. In 1986, John Paul II appointed him President of the commission that would be tasked with the writing of the Catechism of the Universal Church. And in 2002, he was named Dean of the Cardinals College. Another highlight of his years at the service of the Pope and the Church was when, in the year 2000, the congregation published the third part of the Message of Fatima, along with the theological commentary redacted by the prefect himself. Finally, in 2005, just days before the death of John Paul II, Cardinal Ratzinger wrote the meditations that accompanied the Stations of the Cross at the Colosseum, within which the Guardian of Doctrine denounced the sins of the Church before the entire world, inviting repentance and penance. Carissimi fratelli e sorelle, alle 21.37 il nostro amatissimo Santo Padre Giovanni Paolo II è tornato alla casa del Padre. On April the 2nd, 2005, John Paul II died. During the funeral mass in St. Peter's Square, Cardinal Ratzinger, Dean of the Cardinals College, remembered his beloved predecessor with emotion. Possiamo essere sicuri che il nostro amato Papa sta adesso alla finestra della casa del Padre, ci vede e ci benedice. Sì, ci benedica, Santo Padre. After a brief conclave, the cardinal electors chose as the successor of the Polish Pope, his best friend. Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, who then became the 265th Pontiff of the Church of Rome, taking the name Benedict XVI.